A user on Vortex has questions about E85. He says, I've asked this once before, could you guys talk about why E85 use is so uncommon in the German car world, whereas it is extremely popular in almost every other tuning scene? So E85 tunes, uh, they are actually available out there in some German models, just not VW Audi uh, commonly. So the reason why, this is not something that I'm super familiar with, so I actually had to reach out to an industry expert who, uh, who refers to and remain nameless because he's a little shy. but. What he told me was the biggest reason why E85 tunes are not prevalent in the VW and Audi community is because of fueling. So E85 tunes require roughly around 30% more fueling to compensate and that's obviously part of the reason why they make more power. Most VW and Audi models don't have that extra 30% built into their fuel system. So if you were to get E85 tunes on a lot of these models, it would require fuel pumps, injectors, or some combination of those things. So. For that reason, it's just not financially practical because your ROI of what it would cost for you to make the additional power of an E85 tune wouldn't be worth the money spent. Now, there's another component to this that he mentioned also, Max, who works here, uh, who's actually behind the camera, mentioned is E85 is really uh, has a lot of quality problems because it degrades very quickly. And so a lot of guys who have E85 tunes they actually carry testers around with them. And so they'll go to a gas station that has E85, they'll check the fuel. Okay, this doesn't, isn't good enough quality. Go to another gas station, check that fuel. If that's not good enough quality, they go to the next gas station and so forth. And so that obviously creates a huge pain uh, to execute that. And then of those people, a lot of them have um, what's uh, cob tuning for a lot of people who aren't familiar it's big in uh, a lot of the asian markets and subaru specifically comes to mind for me that so what they'll do is they'll carry around their cob tuner and and if they can't get e85 they'll flip it back to a mode that can accommodate standard premium fuel as opposed to e85 which means you actually got to have that component along with it now another component to that is on the East Coast, which is a heavily modified VW area, uh, I'm under the impression that there's not as much E85 more widely spread at most of the fuel stations around the East Coast, it definitely in our area specifically. So you would be hard pressed to find the E85 just, just driving around on a random road. And so that is another component to that is it's not as widely spread. So you would have to have that complete adjustability to turn it on and off. and that is something that would be an additional cost associated with that. So bottom line is it's just not practical for most people. I'm sure over time some of the smaller tuners who have the more custom tweak stuff will do some E85 stuff for people who are looking for, you know, if, uh, if there's a demand in the market for it, someone will probably fill it at some point. It's just the big tuners are going to do stuff that's more mainstream because they need to make sure that it's practical for the average customer because if they give somebody a tune that just isn't practical and they don't understand those components about fuel quality, you can do serious damage to your engine by putting low quality fuel and run, be running an E85 tune if it's like an E60 and you'll be doing some damage to your engine, potentially melt pistons or you know cause detonation and things like that which is super problematic. So E85 is something you should probably stay away from unless you really want it and then you can probably reach out to some of those custom tuners.